The strength of California is our diverse regions. Our state is a huge economy unto itself. Diversity not only comes from geography of the regions. You know, With a huge population. You know, one moment you could be up in the mountain skiing or down in the coast coastal regions enjoying our beaches. And it is diverse. That's what makes California so beautiful. But really the strength is, is how do we all ensure that there's an, a robust economic recovery for all the regions across the state, that no one's left behind. The number one issue for Californians is our economy and creating more and better jobs here. Our state's economy is recovering. California has the fifth fastest growing state economy and has added more than 268,000 jobs, more than any other state. Yet in the middle of this recovery, two very different Californias are emerging, one rich and one poor, with the middle class increasingly squeezed in between. Growing middle class jobs is absolutely instrumental um, for several things. I think it provides um, long-term sustainable living wage for individuals who are seeking to move from poverty into living wage jobs. Once you have a strong middle class, you have a strong economy overall. To try and come up with solutions, that's not easy work. And so the process of the summit, which includes regional forums, that's important because we need to hear from the grassroots. That's why strengthening California's economy demands ideas that rise up from the regions. And that's where the California Economic Summit comes in. The summit this year brought together folks from all over the state to bring a voice to the 40 million people from San Diego to the Redwood Coast who are hard at work creating jobs, building communities, and keeping California competitive. It is still among the most important issues facing the state is how do we restore and maintain the economic competitiveness and job creation in the state. So having a real focus on that matters a lot. This year, regional forums were held with a new mission, advancing the state's triple bottom line, a prosperous economy, a sustainable environment, and community equity. All of these things are part of the California economy, and all Californians have to care about the entirety of our state. Seven priorities for action have been identified. Infrastructure, workforce, regulations, advancing manufacturing, working landscapes, access to capital, and housing. Of these issues, the need for a skilled workforce in the state has been consistently mentioned for two years. If you look at Los Angeles alone, for example, there's over, I believe, 150,000 jobs that are unfilled because people don't have the skills. They're existing that they need to be filled now. In California, there are over 300,000 unfilled jobs that need to be filled. So I think it's extremely important that we get people first in the jobs that exist and, of course, train them for the industries of the future. A lot of times these uh, college students are, you know, graduated from school and not really prepared for the actual workforce. Uh, you keep hearing people, you know, employers actually saying that they're not, high, they're not skilled enough to actually, like, you know, do the job correctly. That is not only my biggest issue, um, we're in a, a peer group, the Southern California Manufacturing Group. Every single one of us has this same issue of finding and keeping skilled workers in California. Ensuring we can fill those jobs and boost the economy will only happen if Californians work together to ensure all regions bounce back. But right now, not every region is bouncing back in the same way. Unemployment rates for coastal communities have dipped. Most are below the state's unemployment rate of 8.9 percent. Jobs are being added and housing prices are recovering and in some areas, soaring. But in some of the coastal urban areas and in much of the inland areas of the state, unemployment remains in the double digits. Educational attainment in the Inland Empire is reversed. When, it, when you go up to up north, where almost 45% of people have bachelor's degrees. The success of our economy adds to California's economy, adds to the nation's economy, and is part of the world economy. So we just need to realize that it's not all the same for everyone. Clearly, there's a lot of work to get done. That's why the California Economic Summit is imperative. The summit is fundamentally changing the game, changing the way California does business, and it's working. We managed to set an agenda last year, which was very broad, very ambitious, but specific about things that needed to be done. And it's important this year because we're carrying that forward. The summit has made inroads on several fronts, from the passage of several bills improving links between education and regional economies, 
the work to open a patent office in California and expansion of the state's iHub programs. The California Economic Summit illustrates um, its ability to bring together a substantive group of thought leaders to really begin to address these issues, but we also have a lot of work to do. The California Economic Summit has some lofty goals, but hey, the state isn't nicknamed the Golden State for nothing. California will shine once again, and it will be thanks to the state's thriving regions and the work they have inspired at the summit. So I think we all know that for California to be successful, for us to really Really, truly be the great golden state that we know we all can be. All of us have to rise together, otherwise we all fall together. I think all of us in this room, all of us that are Californians truly believe not only is this the golden state, but we are the ones that make everyone's dreams happen.